the rhetoric of, of this crisis, uh, the climate crisis, you know, the, the, the economic crisis, it kind of feeds into this idea that we have to trust those people that are in power. Um, the, the rhetoric of crisis is continuing to be employed by the technocrats to increase their power and control. Crisis management serves as the, the state's raison d'etre, and the creation of crisis is, is in fact its very function. However, the climate crisis is real. Um, it's a symptom of the catastrophe that we can call capitalism. And the discourse around climate change is a field that's hotly contested, uh, where new languages of domination are being developed in order to reinforce old authoritarian systems of control and repression. I mean, you need only look at the, uh, the laws that have recently been brought into Denmark to, to limit and control protests. They've used the COP15 as an opportunity. The police have used the COP15 as a power grab to gain more control over civil society. It's not acceptable. So, um, just another note. I, I think it's naive of social movement advocates to suggest that this vast transformation in human social relations is simply that, 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 that we need to, uh, to smash capitalism and to to mitigate catastrophic climate change. I think it's naive that this transformation is going to be achievable simply by mobilizing hysteria around the climate issue. Um, I think we need to do a lot more on that. I mean, in order to galvanize the desired social transformation, um, we need to see the struggle to stop climate change in relation to the daily struggles of people as they confront capitalist domination in their, in their, in their lives. And the desire to stop climate change can then be viewed not as trying to save civilization, but as an attempt to conceive and manifest a world that is actually worth saving. And rather than trying to save the world, we're trying to save something better, trying to save something of this planet to create something better out of this mess. So um, just, a, just a class analysis of those who would employ this kind of apocalyptic narrative, uh, it kind of re reveals the assumptions that are inherent in this, this kind of argument. Um, such, such narratives are steeped in the progress mythologies of modernity. Um, history, the history of struggle is in fact neglected entirely uh, and the climate crisis is viewed with horror uh, as that which threatens our, our civilization and, and to undo the gains of human development. Now what we're really talking about is, is climate change threatens the uh, accumulation of, of capitalist plunder. Um, it, it threatens the capitalist system itself um, and that's, that's why it's responding and adapting to it. But we're not here to save the capitalist system, we're not here to save civilization, we're, we're here to actually do something a lot more than that. And if action on climate change <coughs> is necessarily simply to protect civilization or, or, or material progress, it will only motivate those who have an interest in maintaining that order in ways consistent with the aims of that project. And that's insufficient actually to, to defend life on Earth. So we've seen lots of forms of protest. We've seen things like the climate camp, you know, where people have gone and targeted bits of infrastructure like Kings North or Heathrow. Um, but simply targeting uh, iconic pieces of infrastructure that are highly polluting I think it's a good thing. I've spent a long time doing it myself, but I think that we need to do a lot more than simply go to those sites where the capitalist empire is expanding. Um, you know, this may court some media attention, but uh, the sort of it, it fails to address the wider systemic causes of industrial production, which are which are social. Um, and, and and doing this kind of action where we just say, "Oh, there's the big polluter," this doesn't this doesn't really reproduce a transformation in social relations. Um, or, or does it really engage with existing workplace struggles very much? So um, I think the climate movement has a long way to go in that respect. But we're getting there. You know, these discussions are being had. <coughs>